Welcome back to the channel guys. On this video we're going to be doing a gyro pizza. I'm going to be using some goat t-bones that I picked up at Homestead Meat and Processing. And I'll put their information in the description below and I'll probably put a card uh, on the in this video here somewhere like right here. Uh, excited about this tonight. Uh, I got a shot of these and you guys got to see the the just the really good marbling that is in these steaks and I'm excited to get them on the grill and we're going to do a, a a gyro pizza kind of a mix up on a regular gyro uh, I'm basically going to take uh, the, the the pita bread and I'm going to make it just like a pizza on that pita bread and we're going to do it on the grill and then we'll get it on the cutting board, get it cut up and, and, and try it out for you guys. Uh, the seasoning we're going to use tonight is going to be the Orton's House seasoning. Yes, we're going to bring that back into this cook tonight. We're excited about it. It's an amazing product and you guys got to make sure you get out there and get you some of that Orton's House seasoning. Uh, I'm going to get you down on the cutting board. We're going to get the Orton's House seasoning on these and then we're going to get them. We're going to let that seasoning set up for a little bit. Uh, I'll show you the fire and then we will get uh, the veggies prepped for or the toppings prepped for uh, these pizzas tonight. So excited about this cook. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and get these uh, goat T-bones uh, seasoned up. Uh, I'm going to do just a light trim on some of these and then we will get some uh, some oil on them and then we're going to get the, the Orton's House seasoning on them. This is going to complement this goat meat really good. Man, the marbling in these are just so good. Look at that marbling right through there. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get these seasoned up. And then we're going to let them set up for a little bit and get them on the grill. We're just going to put a little bit of the avocado oil. I'm just going to rub this in. We're going to use the, the oil is going to be just for the binder to kind of hold the rub on these. All right. Now we're going to put the Orton's house to them. Man, this rub smells so good. It's gonna come shine straight through on these tonight. So the plan is that I'm gonna cook these uh, indirect, let them come up to about 115 degrees internal, and then I'm gonna transfer them over to the coals, and then we're gonna bring them up to about 120, 125. We're gonna let them rest, we're going to get them sliced up into little pieces and then we're going to put those little pieces 
on our gyro pizza. All right, guys, we'll just pat that rub in. All right, and that's that's what we're after for those. Now we'll work on uh, the toppings for the pizza. All right, guys, we're gonna work on the toppings for uh, the gyro pizza. We're gonna go with a few of the cherry tomatoes. Let's start with about that many right there. We're gonna put a little bit of dill on it because dill just looks good and it complements the tzatziki sauce really good. We're going to use some red pickled onions. I really like this brand. We're going to use some feta cheese. We're going to cut up some romaine lettuce. And we've got the tzatziki sauce in a squeeze bottle where we can make some good uh, strips with it on there. Okay, let's get these tomatoes cut I'm just going to cut these in halves Yeah, let's go ahead and cut them again. Man, it's a beautiful night here. Got no wind. That's been extremely rare here lately. And man, we got some great products. It's just a good night to shoot a cooking video. All right. Oh, we missed two of them. We'll get these off to the side. All right, now just get this deal chopped up. Guys, I got you over here at the fire. Uh, show you the setup. It's an indirect setup. We've got our coals banked over here to this side. Uh, our meat's gonna go over here. We're gonna use a cherry wood chunk, all right, for our flavor, our smoke flavor on the meat. We're just gonna get that right in the middle there. Then we wanna get our lid on. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get these on the grill.
All right, guys, we got these up to 120, and we're going to sear them off real quick. All right, guys, we got these over on the cutting board. We're gonna let them rest for a little bit. All right, guys, we've let these rest for about 10 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and get these prepped for the gyro pizzas. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the meat off the bone and then I'm going to cut it into thin slices and then we will uh, we'll, we'll get our, our gyro pizzas made up. this a try here man that turned out really good it's got kind of a sweet buttery taste and that Orton's house seasoning just kind of shines through I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the rest of these uh, cut up so we can uh, get them on the pizzas guys we're gonna go ahead and get these uh, get all the toppings on them I just have regular 
Greek style pita bread. And what I want to do is I want to take just a little bit of cooking spray and just do the bottom, the back side of them. All right, guys, we're going to do three of these tonight. Okay, so how I want to assemble these is I'm going to take the tzatziki sauce. Take the tzatziki sauce. And we're just going to run just like that right there. I use the tzatziki uh, dip from Walmart. I like it. It's kind of thick. I like the thickness of it. It's not as runny as the, the stuff that you'll get at like a, a store or whatnot. I kind of like that. All right, now we're going to put our goat meat on here. Kind of get an equal spread here. All right. Okay. Next, we're going to go with a little bit. Of lettuce All right and then we'll come back with our cherry tomatoes got this on a wire rack so we'll be able to transport it fairly simple okay now I feel like we need a melting cheese agent so I, I cut up some string cheese we're just gonna get that placed on there this might help kind of glue some of this stuff to our pita I went ahead and put some extra coals on the Weber to get it uh, fired up. We want it rolling pretty good. We really want to cook the, the remaining pretty fast. And we're going to finish. Actually, we're going to go with, we're going to go with our pickled onions. You don't like pickled onions. I'm not sure. I mean, you can be friends. These things are good. Whoop. All right. Okay. Now we're going to come back with some of the feta cheese. Put just a little bit of funk on this. All right. 
That looks really good. And we're gonna come back with some more of our tzatziki sauce. And we'll finish it off with our deal. All right, guys, we're gonna get these. Actually, one more thing. We're gonna do a light post dust of the Orton's house seasoning. There we go. All right, we'll see you guys over on the grill. All right guys, we got these on the grill. We're gonna do these indirect. This grill's probably running about 375 degrees. And we're just gonna let these hang out on here. I'd like to see a little bit of that string cheese, that mozzarella cheese melt. And these pita just crisp up just a little bit. I'm gonna keep an eye on them. If I feel like one side's getting hotter than the others, I'll go ahead and rotate it around. Man, gyro pizzas on a Weber kettle. All right, guys. They've been on the grill for about 10 minutes now. And they're looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and pull them off. These things are going to be screaming hot. So I'm going to go ahead and let them set for just a second or two. And then we're going to get them on the cutting board and get a, get, them, uh, get a taste for you guys. cut into and give it a, a taste okay all right guys we're gonna go ahead and give this a taste here we go Man, a lot going on in that bite, but this is a recipe that you guys got to try. It's not so not polite for me to talk with my mouth full, so I'll be right back. Let me give you a recap real quick before I close this video out. Uh, we got some, some really good, well-marbled goat meat from Homestead Meats and Processing. Uh, and man, I can't say it enough. You guys have got to get by there and you got to try their stuff. So what we did is we took some goat ribeyes and we put a little bit of oil on them. And we put the Orton's house seasoning. We cooked them indirect on a Weber kettle. We brought them up to about 120 degrees. Then we seared them off and we seared them off and then we got them on the cutting board, let them rest. We sliced them up into little slices 
And then we pre-prepared uh, pita bread uh, and, and put toppings and made gyro pizza. Uh, and uh, man, it was, it was really good. It's a, a, just a different spin on something that you could do on the grill. Guys, uh, man, we're excited about what's going on here at Grilling Addiction with Nick. Uh, this was a solo cook tonight. Kyler wasn't running the camera, so uh, Kyler, I, I, I ran the camera on this entire cook. So if you were missing some of the shots that you love, make sure you go to our other videos uh, and check those out. Uh, man, stay on this ride with us. We got a lot of stuff planned, uh, and we're really looking forward to bringing you guys some great content here on the channel. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for stopping by. Catch you guys on the next video.